Okay, on this video I'm going to show you how to add to your downloads page. When you go to the backend system right here, you just click on downloads. Click add new. This you can give it a title, a description. Make sure you check downloads right here. In this description, you can do many things. Um, you can add images. So if I want to add an image to this, I'm click Add Media, insert into post, and it'll put it in here. Um, you can align it. You can edit this um, so it brings in a thumbnail size instead of the full image you can move it to the other side of this text um, it's just a lot you have to kind of mess around with and see where it's at I can put this, I can publish this now now it shows up here um, if I want to I can go to YouTube. I can grab a video link. All right, I'm gonna do. Go to the back end, get rid of this photo. Let's see, you got uh, videos on how to use some of the sewing things. Uh, you can paste that link right into here, and then you can update it. And then when you refresh the page, your uh, video will be there so they can play that also and kind of watch different tutorials or whatever you have. Um, you can keep your title here. Your description goes down here. Um, if you want that description to be before the video, just move some stuff around. the description to be before the video, I just put it before the video, refresh, and then there it is, you can put links in here if you want links instead, so if I want testing to be a link, just highlight that, Open in a new tab. This is always important when you're using links. You always want to try to open them in a new tab. That way, it doesn't override your website. It keeps your website up there. I'll just click Add Link, Update. And then there's a link to the website. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Um, if you have a PDF file, you can also add that to your media. So let's say I go here to my media gallery. If I had a PDF file, I could click Add New, drop the PDF file in here go back to my downloads edit this one and then I could go right here and click add media and then I could grab the PDF file insert that and then update once I have that I can refresh click this and it gives me the PDF file the one thing about this though is kind of weird. Uh, you do the PDF file that way, but highlight it again, go to edit, make sure you click that open tab, update it, refresh. Now it's going to pull up another tab that way. If I click out of this, I'm back on your website. Other than that, that's all you need to do for uh, 
the download section.